What's going on there, YouTube? Big Ben with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people, we're back. And we're back with another motherfucking review. Real quick, while I got it here, I'm gonna show you guys. Tom Petty, ladies and gentlemen. She still hangs out in the vape room with me sometimes. But uh, I know you guys haven't seen her in a while. She's, she's like two years old, but she's still really small. Say hi to everybody, Tom. Little girl, say hi. All right, fine. She didn't like to be subjected to such. But anyway, we're back with the review, and it's a review on the Kanger K Togo. The Kanger T K Togo. Son of a bitch, can't get my words right. Anyway, so this is a little fucker right here. Now, Kanger has done this Togo line before. They're usually small, all in one devices. This one's no different, but it is unique. It is unique. This is an all in one device. I would say a starter kit. It's a good term for it. Um, these things sell for $29.99 online. And let me tell you what all it has going on. So this is a 2000 Ma mod, right? Micro USB charging, some standard stuff. And what's going on in here is it's, it's got these pods, right? And these pods have replaceable coils. And basically the pod holds six mils and it goes inside here. 2000 Ma, none adjustable, 0.5 ohm coils, six mil capacity and that's what you got inside this little thing it's pretty small too i kind of like it it's it reminds me of like a billet box but different let me have a token too like this is supposed to be a starter kit but this thing for what it is huh. i'd say that's not too shabby for a starter kit the airflow is pretty good Not too shabby, right? Now let's go over some of the boring stuff real quick. Now I gotta show you guys how this thing works. I'll tell you what I don't like, like about it and stuff. In the box, in the box you open it up and you get uh, a tank, two coils, micro USB charging cable, and your mod, all right? Pretty, pretty standard stuff, pretty by the book. Here's how this thing works, right? So you pop this back plate off, right? And you got this little fucking pod. And this little pod is kind of cool. This pod holds six mils of liquid and you just fill it up from the bottom. You have these coils with these little proprietary connectors that connect inside the box. And you just pop these coils in as you please. You can just pop them out, pop a new one in, and just go on about your business. Pretty simple. Now what you do is you take this guy, and you got to put this bottom on, right? You got to line it up. You push it into this slot down here. And then it just goes up in there. Bam. Then you got a little magnetic back plate. Pop that back on, and you're good to go. Yeah, it's very, very, very simple. Very, very simple. And if you want to pop it back out, everything, you just grab the uh, chimney up here, pop it out. Real, real simple, real simple. A few other things going on with this mod. On the bottom here, you got some LEDs. And when you five click to turn it on, those LEDs let you know where your power level is. So if you got full LEDs, you're full power. If you got less LEDs, you got less power. You get down to one LED, you need to charge it. But you got your micro USB charging down there. I really hate micro USB charging ports on the bottom because it makes you lay the mod over. It. It's a whole thing. Uh, along the side, you have your fire button. And uh, it's there. You can feel it. It is kind of smooth to the surface. I wish it would have protruded a little bit. I wish it would have been a little bit more pronounced. It's clicky enough. It's okay. But you kind of got to dig around and try to find it. But you got a fire button on the side. And then really, folks, other than that, I mean, that that's it. <laughs> uh, on the front face of it, you do have the little K-Togo uh, logo that lights up when you press the button. That's kind of cool. And right next to that logo is the airflow. The coils have an airflow slot that coincides with the airflow slot on the front of the box. And uh, that's where the magic happens. See, watch this. Oh, yeah, I can shoot out little streams of vapor. Right? I become a fucking uh, fog machine with this. You know what I mean? Well, I guess you become a fog machine with any vaporizer device. Anyway, that's not important. <laughs> you see what's going on here, right? It's all this shit built into this little box with a little drip tip sticking out. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, for a starter kit, it's cool. You don't have anything to adjust. You know what I mean? You just kind of go for it. And I'm going to be doing some starter kits because they are important. I just did a RDTA yesterday. Here's a starter kit. You people need to learn. It's not all about all these big 18 battery devices and a million watts. Sometimes you got to do some starter kits. People still smoking. 
rant over. Just wanted to throw that in real quick. I know some people are just, oh, I just want the clouds, bro. Clouds. <laughs> I understand. But like I said, this, this cloud's pretty decent for what it is. Now, these things are available in a multitude of colors. I just got the basic bitch silver and black right here. But uh, it's working fine. It's working fine. Overall, I like this thing. I like how convenient it is. I like how small it is. There's just a few caveats that I have. Not really. Three things I don't like about it. Everything else is pretty good. I mean, it's simple enough. You don't have to do too much. They couldn't fuck it up too bad. But there's a few things. One, don't like the micro USB port on the bottom. I wish it was on the side because I don't like laying the mod on the side, right? Number two, I wish the fire button was more pronounced. It's just hard to find. In a, I mean, I don't know. It's not too hard to find, but I wish it protruded or if it was a different material because it just feels smooth. It feels like you feel a little bit of something, but yeah, it should have been a little bit a little bit more pronounced. The last con I have is something I haven't talked about yet. On the front of this device, you have this little slit. That little slit is a window so you can check out your juice capacity. Problem is, unless you hold that motherfucker up to a light, which I'm doing it right now, and I'm you can't really see your juice level. It's kind of pointless. Like, the tank is, is smoked. This cover is smoked. And you know, it kind of defeats the purpose, y'all. <laughs> I mean, you could always quickly pop the back off and just look. Oh, shit. <laughs> Accidentally knocked my pot out, son of a bitch. You can just pop it out and look. But the whole point of that window is to make it easier. It's like frosted glass. And then you got smoked plastic. It wasn't well thought out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Pop that back in. Okay, now, pop that back on. There we go. Okay, no more mess ups. No more mess ups. But other than those three cons, I like everything else about it. It's small, it vapes well, it's simple, and it has a cool little proprietary system, you know? And which, with any tank, you're gonna have to buy their coil, so I can't say, oh, you gotta get the coils for this pod. You know, the same shit. Let me have a tub real quick. Let's see what we can do. Not bad for a little starter kit. Let me see if I can do a mouth alone. You can mouth alone. Oh, that's another con too. It's a little, it's a little too open to do a true mouth along. And that gets to my next thing. No adjustable airflow. So really, I mean, and all these things can be forgiven being that it's a starter device to an extent, all in one. But you know, there's just a few things they could have fixed. But for $29.99, I think it's a good kit. And I love the fact that it comes with two coils right off the bat. Overall, I think it's good. You can get more pods, just have flavors loaded up, ready to go. I'm like, bam, change flavor in like five seconds. That's cool. That's pretty neat. That's one thing I like about the whole pod configuration. But really, folks, I think that's about it. This is an interesting little mixed bag of stuff going on here. But I kind of like it overall. Overall, I think it's cool. Without, you know, with a few downsides. And really, folks, that's what I got for you. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go look around, take a gander. I don't give a shit. But I did tell you, and we all know that has to be worth something. So really, folks, with that being said, <clears throat> thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them stinkies. That's what counts. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and the K-Togo, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than Tom Petty. <laughs>